Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Tamar Mizels. I'm a Jewish mom and wife living in Israel. And today I wanted to talk to you about what is it like being a parent in Israel? Uh, I live in Israel, I'm a parent, I have two kids and one on the way. And there's a few distinctions in Israel that make you know being a parent in Israel quite unique. One of them is a high birth rate. If we compare Israel to other OECD countries, the average uh, birth rate in Israel is about 3.1 compared to other OECD countries where this average is about 1.6, which actually can be quite a crisis in other European countries where the birth rate is just not high enough for an aging uh, population. In Israel, this isn't a problem, and this isn't only from the Orthodox communities that actually average about seven kids per family. Even the secular um, Israelis are having more kids on average than the OECD countries. And what is the reason for this? Why are Israelis having so many children? And uh, some reasons that people give are, you know, family life is highly valued in Israel. You know, Jewish, Jewish life, family is very, very important. And that's why people like having children and having larger families. Uh, another reason sometimes uh, people say is because, um, you know, not long ago we had uh, the Holocaust, which uh, about a third of our nation was exterminated. We were 18 million Jews before, and till today we haven't arrived at that number of Jews in the world. Are we're less than 18 million? Um, so this influences people because if you're grandma or your grandfather's entire family was wiped out in the Holocaust, you're likely to ha want to have more children and you know want to have a larger family um, to kind of, uh, you know, fill in this, this void that, that the Holocaust caused. And another reason is Israel, you know, we're surrounded by a lot of enemies and uh, there's a very famous phenomenon known as baby boom that in a time of war, uh, people are more likely to have more children, and Israel, in the last six, 70 uh, years of existence, we've been almost in a constant state of war, so in a constant state of baby boom. Uh, so this is also a, a reason people are having more children. Uh, another uh, known thing in Israel is Israel is very known for its fertility treatments, where a world capita. Uh, a world expert um, per capita in fertility treatments, and not only not only are we experts in fertility treatments, but we're also we heavily subsidize fertility treatments. This means two uh, children from fertility treatments are completely subsidized. Uh, if you want to have more uh, more than two, then you know your uh, health provider will also very heavily subsidize this. Uh, Everyone knows of friends and family that are going through treatments, and it's it's very common in Israel. So that's a very known thing, and there's great uh, treatments in Israel. We're very known for that. Um, uh, hospitals in Israel, uh, the way the system, the healthcare system is built, are that hospitals are actually competing with one another uh, to try to get women choose to give birth in their hospital. So that means. Uh, maternity wards, nurses, uh, hospitals are greatly, um, greatly um, funding these maternity wards and, and making sure that people choose their hospitals as for each delivery that's given in their hospital they they make a, a nice sum from the government so they're um, they, they want to compete and get you in their hospitals. Uh, usually uh, Israeli women stay in the hospital for about 48 hours after birth, 72 if you have had a C-section. Uh, let me know in the comments below what it's like in your country, you know, what the hospitals are like and how long on average do you stay in your hospitals. Uh, so please let me know in the comments below. And um, my next point is about balancing work and family life in Israel. Uh, on one hand, Israelis Israeli employees compared to other uh, workers in OECD countries, we actually work longer hours and we have less vacation days, especially if we compare this to the number of vacation days our kids have in the education system. Uh, so there's a, quite a gap there. Uh, it could be difficult to juggle with all of these. 
uh, but at the same time, because family life is so valued, people uh, and workplaces are very accepting of, you know, if I have to take a sick day or uh, I have two children and God willing, one on the way. And so that means that three times I had to tell my employee about, you know, the fact that I'm expecting. And all three times the employee was so happy for me, genuinely happy for me. And uh, I think part of the reason is that everyone has a wife, a mom, a child, and they, they kind of see you um, like like one of them, and they and they, they they value family life and they cherish having children. So it's it's really nice. And another thing that really helps family life and balancing it all is uh, grandparents' involvement because Israel is a very small geographically country geographic country. Um, grandparents, siblings will most likely live pretty close to each other. And then you kind of have a support network. Uh, so it's very common to see grandparents coming and picking up kids from school and helping the parents who are busy at work. Uh, so that's kind of, that kind of helps you balance, balance it all out. And my last point has to do with the uh, Israeli chutzpah. Chutzpah means, you know, rudeness. Israelis are known for being, um, you know, having comments and saying what's on their mind. And this is also true for what, when it comes to, um, you know, child care. Uh, people always have comments about how you're raising your kids, how many kids you should have, what space and gapping you should have between the kids. So you kind of have to, you know, take it all into account, know that they have, they, that they have your best interest and they and they 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 want what's best for you and take it all in with a grain of salt. Uh, just this morning, I took my kids to kindergarten and it was drizzling a bit and and someone commented about how my son could fall and he shouldn't run and these these are the type of things people always comment about how you're raising your kids, what you're doing, what they're wearing. So you just kind of have to take it all in and this is part of the Israeli society that we live in. So uh, if you like this uh, content, please subscribe below and, um, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.